Well, it's Saturday. In fact, the second Saturday of the month. That means it's CCA time, Capital Cichlid Association out of Silver Spring, Maryland. And we're headed to the meeting. And I figured I'd do a quick review. Now, to be honest, it'll be a little biased. This is my home club. And been in it a long time. Don't get to many meetings anymore, but I figured what the heck. Time to show you guys what being a club member is about. You've seen the video on the big fish deal, which was put on by the CCA. Now we'll hit a few highlights of the meeting. Now, if you run a club, one of the first problems you have is where do you meet? The Capital Cyclo Association started out meeting in people's houses, and as it grew, it ended up having to find some place to meet. So nowadays, they meet at the John F. Kennedy High School in Silver Spring, and of course, they have to pay for the location, but we meet in the cafeteria, and it's not too bad, nothing fancy. Super Cichlids is here. Super Cichlids is out of Dover, Delaware. And they make it to a lot of fish conventions. They were at the big fish deal. And they've decided to show up here to the meeting. With some of their goods. And you come up with some information on other events, free magazines. Thank you. Yep. Fish, dry goods raffle. And then. The top layer of the mantle of the planet, underneath which is the asthenosphere, and that's more malleable. And they float and they move. And when these plates sometimes move in opposite directions, which is what's happening here, sometimes they move and one slides underneath the other one, um, which is not happening there, but which is happening in California uh, and in the Pacific. So, got a little carried away during the auction, forgot all about the video. I was busy bidding on several items, several different types of fish, some rare, some not so rare. But I came away with a container of, of uh, cobalt food from the raffle. And I also got one fish from the auction. Let me turn this around. They were somebody's breeder award donation, BAP. And they're little, but you know, what the heck, something I don't have. And I'll get them up here in the next few months up to size and start trying to breed them. Like I said, something new, something different for me. Because right now all I have are peacocks and a few haps. So let's go back and review. You've got 50 or more people in a room, all with the same interest fish. It might be different aspects, might be different species, might be different regions, but you're all fish. You've got a speaker that the club brings in. In this case, Peter George out of Massachusetts. You've got food. There was pizza there. You've got raffles of dry goods that the club has received from manufacturers. You've got an auction. The auction doesn't have to be real big, but in my case, I bought a bag of fish. 
And then you also have selling items. Think about it. 40, 50, 60 people in the same room with the same interest you have. It can only be fun. Clubs promote the hobby. Clubs keep people into the hobby. They make it more exciting. They show people how to take care of their tanks. Clubs come up with ways of finding fish that you won't find in a box store or in most cases your local pet store. Clubs work with local fish stores. We promote them. They're essential to the hobby. We have to save the local fish store. And I believe that you know, clubs help do that. I stopped at a local fish store on the way home and picked up a 40 gallon long tank that I ordered. It's gonna go right here. I'm gonna replace this 30. It's got a cares fish in it. And I wanna give more room. I wanna thin them out a little bit and breed them. So where do I get the tank? I go to the local fish store. Anyway, I got off subject a little bit. Clubs, they're great for the hobby. They're great for the social benefit. They're great for learning. They're great for finding things that you cannot find elsewhere. Yes, you can go online and order a fish from somebody who's advertising it. But you go to the local fish club and the fish is right there in front of you. You can see it. You can learn more about it. You can make sure it's good before you take it. Or you can go to the guy's house. If it's a local club, you know, there's people in your area that breed fish. Why not check it out? One more plug at the end here. Capital Cichlid Association, located in Maryland. It's www.capitalcichlids.org. It's a great organization. I've been in it since 2002. Check it out.